What is up guys, Mark here from Michael Alexander Photography and today we're going to be showcasing a little bit more of Magic Automatic. Now I want to showcase a little bit more of Magic Automatic for you portrait photographers out there. Now Magic Automatic is a big friend to images that showcase a lot of skin. It is definitely very popular in the glamour community. But don't count it out of the portrait field just yet. This is an image I shot a while ago and I thought this would be a really cool image to showcase a little bit of Magic Automatic on. It is something I've shot quite a few times. Now. I did say Magic Automatic does enjoy a lot of skin, but her showcasing a lot of skin is not what I meant. Um, this is still just a normal portrait photo that I've taken countless of times. So I want to showcase a little bit of Magic Automatic on a photo that might be a little bit more for everybody. Now, the first thing I'm going to note about Magic Automatic, it is a photo skin smoothening tool with a bunch of other features. One of the features isn't spot removal. You will still have to do that prior to activating the magic automatic action. So you'll see I have layer one and I'm gonna switch it on or off. And I just did a little bit of uh, cleaning on it very poorly as well, but we're doing a demo. So I don't think that's gonna be that big of a deal. Now, this is a very clean image and it wouldn't take me too long to edit myself, but we're gonna do it with magic automatic because it's a click of a button. And we're gonna literally do it with magic automatic, not magic semi-auto that I did in a previous edit. But again, I like having layers. So we're going to choose magic automatic with layers because I do like being able to kind of uh, change the opacity a little bit in some of the layers because sometimes it's a little bit harsh. So we're going to keep with magic automatic with layers. So while it's doing its thing, the big difference between magic automatic and magic semi auto is the fact that you don't have any choices to make when playing with magic automatic. In magic semi auto, you're going to be able to choose surface blur, levels, and also being able to choose the medium blur levels. So those are things to just keep in mind if you're choosing which one to use. If you just wanna quickly get an edit out, get it ready for Instagram, definitely try Magic Automatic. It does a great job all on its own. But if you do enjoy having a little bit more extra control, if you just wanna choose the levels to exactly how you like it, check out Magic Semi Auto because you can always still batch with either or functions. And there we go, click of a button, we have a skin smoothed image. Before, after, before, after. And that is a fantastic job. But if you notice, right here on the hair, we'll zoom in. Do you see that change? Now that's something to note with Magic Automatic. Now the process that the action runs is to be able to select skin tones. And sometimes depending on the type of image you have, if the model has blonde hair or brunette hair, anything that is closely resembled to a skin tone, Photoshop might get confused, but that's not a problem. That's why I like the layers function because the layers function allows me to see what has been selected. And as you can see, the lips have been selected, which we are gonna brush out, and also the hair, which is as simple as changing to a brush and changing it to black because we are trying to fill in. And then all you do is just brush. Now we're just gonna do a dirty job because we're just doing this for demo purposes, but you just quickly brush all the hair out, I'll just narrow it down so we don't affect the hand too much. We're gonna brush out the lips. I honestly like brushing the lips in the color layer, not on the mask because I can look at the edges a lot better. There we go. There we go, and that is that done. But again, also something to notice is under her chin. As you guys can see, that is dark and that is still part of the skin. Now Magic Automatic does struggle a little bit with shadows, but that's why we like the layers function because we can easily just add that back in if we wanted to. And there we go. Now the thing is also with shadows, it's also very difficult to see if your skin's moved or not. But you know, if that is something you want to do, it is built in with that capability. Now, cool. How epic is it that we did a whole skin smooth on an image this quickly, hey? How cool is that? Let's zoom into her face just so you guys can see because that's obviously what you're gonna worry about the most is as a portrait photographer is her face. Now I can look everywhere. It's done it everywhere. There we go. How cool is that? Even on the hands. And like I said, the one thing that I love about having layers at my disposal is being able to change the opacity so that it's not as harsh. 
but we're not going to worry about that because I quite like this. I want to showcase you guys another thing. You'll also notice, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the texture off. One thing about skin smoothing is it always removes texture. But what I really like about Magic Automatic is it comes with this layer called Original Texture Extract. And what I love about it, it is a sample of the original texture of the image that is now being overlaid on top of here. So that you get the texture of the skin that you smoothed and a little bit of a softer look. And I love the fact that I can always bring back the original texture because it just looks a little bit more natural. And if anything is true about good editing is to make it look like you never edited at all. But there we go, a really cool image. So let's add a little bit more of Magic Automatic. Let's do Glam Skin Hues. Now I love this because, I mean, skin color grading is always, it's, it's always personal preference and it's always fun to be able to have a bunch of choices. So let's run this action. And there we go. Now we have a color grade on the skin tones, but we can choose what color grade we want. Now it might look like there's nothing going on, but if you click here and you see down here in the properties tab, you can click on that and this big tab opens up right here. Now at the bottom, and this comes with Magic Automatic, is MVP Glam Skin Toning. And look at all those options that you have to select out of to be able to give your skin tones a new color grade. Now for me, I'm always a big fan of a little bit of a pinky grade, like something like that. I love the warmth of that. So we're going to go with, it's called Stoned Immaculate, which I love. There we go. And here we go. We have an amazing color grade. Again, the hair was selected. Now you might, you might like that, you might, you might not. I don't like that because I love her warm brunette hair as is. And oops, let's quickly change that to black. There we go. Again, just quickly brushing out the selected areas of the hair. And there you go, you are done. Now I don't mind that it's atta attached to the lips. I think it kind of adds to it, which is nice. But look how quickly we got a whole edited portrait photo. Now you can also, what's nice, is you can change the opacity on it. I'm going to change it to 80% because we don't need it to be that powerful. There we go. And now for the final step, we want to send this off to Instagram, right? So firstly, let's run IG prep auto orientation. So what this is going to do, it's going to compress it down to a file size that Instagram prefers. And then it's also going to sharpen it so that the image is of nice quality when you do post it. So it's not going to compress it down and kind of smoosh everything together. We're going to sharpen it as well, all in one action to make it Instagram ready. So also, if you guys want, this image has been as taken in camera. We haven't cropped anything yet. So when you're posting on Instagram, it prefers the 4 by 5 ratio. We also have the IG prep 4 by 5 vertical bars or vertical blur. I'm going to choose the bars just because. And there we go. Now the image is also the perfect size for Instagram. So not only have we skin smoothed the image without having to do much other than masking out there, we have color graded the image. Again, just having to mask out there. We have also compressed and sharpened the image to make it Instagram ready and add crop bars all in this time. Isn't that fantastic? So you portrait photographers out there, if you are looking to speed up your workflow and you want to get some really high end results and you are thinking about getting Magic Automatic, I definitely highly recommend it. And that is the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it because I shoot a lot of editorial and portrait style stuff as well as doing some fitness and glam. So if you guys want to, you can check it out on my Instagram if you want to see what type of work I do other than what you see on the YouTube channel. Definitely go check it out. But also, please leave a comment down below. You know, let's start some conversation. Is there something you would like to know about the MVP Magic Automatic? Is there something that you might like to know about some of the other MVP products? Would you like to know our favorite MVP products or my favorite MVP product? And I can definitely do a video on that for you guys. But that is all for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm Michael Alexander, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.